Hey there, Postal here. So, we've got ourselves a pretty good game here. Um, well, if you saw my Facebook post, you know how this game already ended. Um, just how good it was. But if you haven't, then I guess you'll be surprised. So what are we in here? We're in the XP-58, the Chain Lightning, get ready for action. one of my favorite planes in the game. Um, this plane got me into... Well, it got me into heavy planes, to be honest. I was very much a light fighter plane pilot before this. And um, this, this really helped me enjoy heavy fighters and learn how to plane properly. So let's get up in the air as high as we can go. Um, take advantage of this particular game mode, which is really built for planes like this. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll show you exactly why. So I see there's nobody really behind this uh, heavy fighter, so I'm swooping in down behind it. And one of the things I love about this plane... Well, I'm going to say it a couple times in this video. One of the things I love about this plane is its guns. One of the things I hate about this plane... Or I hate it, I think. One of the things that can annoy you about this plane is its guns. And very, very short range, especially for this tier. About 2,300 feet max. Um, but man, when they hit, you see they're just tearing things up. And so... This guy's not paying attention. Of course, once I get behind you, especially in a heavy, if you're in a heavy plane, or a bad maneuverable um, multi roll a bomber, um, even most ground attack planes, you're kind of close. Um, you also notice I use my tail gunner as often as I possibly can. I probably would have died if I had been um, using my tail gunner. And tail gunner is very strong in this particular plane, especially if you've got it built up. Um, you know, that plane went from full health to less than half health, and I only lost about 10% of my health. So definitely um, try to use the tail gunner. So, Trying to stay up as high as I possibly can. I know that any of the um, light fighters, yes, uh, any of the light fighters' maneuverability will kind of be negated by how rough they go, especially the particular light fighters that we got in this match. Yeah, there's an I-250, but um, it's not really maneuverable anyway. There's no, uh, you know, BFs, there's no ME-209, there's no P-51H, there's nothing like that. There are some Yak-15s, um, which, under normal circumstances, you don't really have to worry about, but considering the bombers here aren't the highest level bombers, since they're bots, the Yak-15s actually can come up and, and be a disruption, so... Right now, I'm realizing that all these kills I've done haven't really helped us win the game at all. Um, what they have done is, you know, make them respawn, uh, which is all well and good, and it, it lowers their respawn count, but uh, my goal right now, now that I'm recognizing my mistake, is to uh, protect these bombers that are coming out. And this particular heavy, unlike a lot of other heavies, doesn't have any rockets, doesn't have any bombs, so I can't help... Ooh. I can't help by flipping the sector um, if it's just ground attack items. What I can do, though, is use a reasonable maneuverability, at least for a heavy fighter, and the awesome um, hitting guns to take out the planes that I can take out. Let's take a look over here. Let's see, so usually I'm, I'm aiming for the high up things, but I know I can get the typhoon quickly. As I do so, my apologies if it was a tempest and not a typhoon. Um, Circling around here, see if we can stick with him. I'm gonna use my rear gunner a little bit, weaken him, weaken him, weaken him, and then we'll start turning back around. And he was completely weakened, so that's good, obviously. We can let our bombers get through here. So I see that guy off in the distance, and I completely tunnel vision. Until the last second, I realized I'm about to go diving through my own bomber. Rookie mistake right there. Um, I just focused on that, that plane down on the ground. Pretty frustrating, but I think we'll still get some bombers through there, right? Right? Fortunately, all the enemy aircraft are really kind of converging on this area, so... Get back in the game, boost up, uh, like I always do. I use my boost way too much, but I really, really enjoy the high speed of this particular plane. It tends to work best when it's at its high speed. So I'm trying to go up, try to get the things that are a little bit higher. And 
go for the, the items that are you know, kind of running parallel to these things that I don't have to try to outmove it because I can't outmove them so it's easier. So if you're running a little bit, something's still shooting me, but uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll live. So let's get up higher. Use my boost to keep up with this guy. You can see my, when I talk around when I get frustrated, um, I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay. I guess he got surprised that I was coming down to him, and he just figured what the hell. Um, we're at 14,000 uh, personal points already, and we still got a chunk of this game to go through. And um, what you'll notice my tactic in this particular um, game mode, and with this particular plane, is really just kind of aim for areas that might have multiple planes, but not in a bunch, kind of in a line. Um, and that way, if you know, if I hit a plane and take him out, all, all the better. I'll take out the, you know, hit the next one as well, kind of go down the line. But if I don't take one out, well, at least I've weakened him up and hopefully my, my teammates can get him. And so you'll notice uh, very often I tend to line up uh, something that I might be able to just kind of fly by and get to the next guy. And got him, but that's okay. And I, I try to keep that mentality on this particular game mode with this particular plane, because unlike a normal game mode, there's always planes around in this game mode. So let's just keep on using our speed and find the next victim. So I figure, you know, let's try to go defend these bombers over here. I'm looking at that J4M, and you know, he's, for me to turn around and get him is going to be a waste of energy, and he can't get me, so I'm not really worried about him. I'm just going to keep moving these two and hopefully defend our bombers so they can get through. I'm definitely worried that uh, that we won't be able to get enough bombers through and we'll, and we'll lose because of that. And so I see that the heavy fighter is low on hit points, so I figured let's go for the light fighter, and then we would have been able to go after the heavy fighter, just, you know, an offshoot, just a couple shots and we're done with it. Unfortunately, the light fighter was dead before I got there, but we were still able to take advantage of killing the heavy fighter. Alright, so now we've got a little bit of time before we're even close to the, um, to the enemies here, so I'm kind of assessing the situation. The high up planes are a little bit too far away for me to, to worry about um, or be able to go after, so I see these two guys coming down and recognize i got to get the guy behind first. Take him out, hopefully circle back around, and hopefully I can actually get both of them. Nope. A bit. And yeah, at this point I'm feeling like, okay, I've got to basically have be somewhere where I can always have my guns firing. That BV, I was tempted to go after him, um, but realizing, you know, he, he and I have basically the same top speed, um, he was going to get away from me uh, just because of my energy loss at that point, so I'll just switch back to keep going forward. I'm keeping my eyes on the map, because you really have to in this game mode. Um, I mean, there's everybody everywhere, right? See a bunch of things going on here, and, and you kind of just have to decide who can I get and who um, who can't I get. When in doubt, I typically try to get the guys that are up high, just because because it's uh, easier to stay up high than it is to try to get back up high. BB might be in trouble there. Luckily, luckily he didn't come after me. I'm not sure he would have managed to stick with me anyway, but we flipped over and now we've got this guy on our butt. Uh, but I also know, you know, with my airspeed, I'm not just good at that maneuver. I'm high enough up and the angling down slightly and I'm picking up airspeed. I'm not overly worried about him getting me. Uh, now that my rear gunner's firing, I know that uh, you know, should be pretty okay. Unfortunately, that didn't quite work out for me. And going near the spawn area here, we got some people coming up from the bottom, and I'm toast. And it's that Yak 15. And good on him. Honestly, he's a lot higher than he should be, quote unquote, should be in a Yak, um, but he's still able to you know, make it work and, and do what he needs to do. So we're respawning here. I'm getting a little desperate, right? I want to make sure that we're able to. At this point, I'm like, well, maybe we can just. Try to kill as many people as we can. Um, we need to get these bombers to get through here. We haven't really gotten anything. They've done a great job at defending. Uh, they really have. 
Um, so I'm trying to go for the planes that kind of line up in front of me at this point. You know, and, at, uh, and when I was first aiming for that heavy, then went for the light player and the light it was just because they lined up in front of me. I'm not going to let that opportunity pass just because I was initially going for that heavy fighter. I knew I could get the heavy fighter um, anyway, so um, I changed uh, changed to that other fighter. This guy coming at me for some reason, I don't know why people continue to come at this plane. Uh, if you learn anything from this particular video, don't head on a freaking F-58. Um, unless, unless you've got the range and you don't, I don't have the hit points. In fact, you're about to see about the only time you want to head on an XP-58. So I'm trying to get away, get some some of my hit points back. I see we got his BVP-203, and he's not coming towards me. He's kind of going off to the left. Oh, wait a minute, never mind. He's coming towards me. And, yeah. So that's about the only time you ever want to go in against an XP-58, is when it's low hit points, and you've got guns that can hit hard and hit long, uh, like the BVP can do. So... At this point I recognize we have the ability to win if we can knock out all their planes. I'm hoping that our you know, lead on kills is going to lead to a win considering we've only gotten one bomb at the moment. <sighs> and I'm annoyed that I'm like a million miles away from our reaction at this point to feel the game slipping through our fingers. I know at this point it's really I come to the decision, it's not about the bombers getting through, I can't trust the bombers to get through. What I can trust though is my ability and my team's ability to knock out all the enemies. And so, I basically, systemically, I start attacking the planes that I know I can get knocked out. So that way they use the respawning abilities and then we'll be able to take out whoever we need to take out. So I'm going for this guy, even though I might have uh, liked to have gone into kind of the hornet's nest a little bit. Um, I felt like I could kill this guy quicker uh, than you know, my ability to actually kill uh, the, the light fighters in that hornet's nest. So we're turning around here. He's not coming towards us, but um, I don't have the time right now to focus on my rear gunner. I'm just going to weaken everybody that I can. And that way my team's going to be able to take them out as quickly as possible. Meteor was a little bit too high for his own good, and I was able to take advantage of that. And I'm really just taking out everybody that's up top here and circling down. You'll notice I'm you know, making large S curves here. Uh, I'm just kind of swooping down, getting what's in front of me, and swooping down some more. Since I was up so high at this point, everything's kind of below me. They're all fighting like crazy to keep the sector alive. This is BVP, so I want to try to see if I can get him. I don't know if he recognizes me or if he's just doing his normal thing, but he's coming back at such an angle. I was going to try to chase him for a second. I just think that I lose too much momentum. So I want to get back up a little bit and see what I can do. I'm keeping an eye on my map. I also know that that BVP fighter uh, tends to go in straight lines very quickly, so I the opportunity to come up here and damage these guys. Um, I think there's a chance to kill him, but you know, can go on to the next one. That's all I can do at this point, right? Got that guy though, and so I mean, now I'm looking, I'm like, okay, great, we've got them down to only four spawns. Four pe three people, right? Um, we've, we're gonna win this. There's no, you know, there's no reason we can't win this. We've got all those bombers going through, we only need nine of them to make it. Let's go ahead and keep taking down each of them. So we're waiting on, we've got this guy and we're waiting on a heavy fighter to spawn. And once that heavy fighter spawns, he's toast. We got the whole team. I'm <laughs> doing my uh, level best to avoid every friendly bomber, as you may notice. And um, got him. So good. All right, let's, well, let's get this um, bot to spawn. I'm assuming it's a bot. Check here. Yep, it's a bot. So we're just waiting for him to spawn. And once he does, he's toast. Uh, you know, I'm going straight for the spawn point. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, our bombers hopefully will be able to make it through. I'm not even really worried about it because once this guy spawns, he's dead. I know I'm going to kill him. I, I've got 100% confidence that he's toast. And uh, 
not typically a. I can't even say typically. I'm never a spawn point camper. But in this kind of instance, I'm, I'm camping. I'm waiting for him, and so we're going to take him out. And he's not spawning. Well, Alright, he'll spawn soon, right? So, you know, I'm chatting with my team. One of my, my people on the team was like, man, this is a good plane. <laughs> he said, hey, yeah, you know, I, I did some work while piloting. It wasn't just a plane, right? Well, you know, so just kind of chatting. Messing around a little bit, waiting for this guy to spawn. And now it's kind of dawning on me that he still hasn't spawned. So what are we doing here? What is going on? So I'm just kind of flying around because I got nothing else to do, but we're going to be in trouble here. So hopefully these bombers do some good work here. And of course, all of them but one gets through. Well, enough of all of them, but we needed one more to get through to, to win. And now, now the whole team's like, what is going on? Like, we're waiting for what? And unfortunately, that's how the game ends. Um, that other You've done what you could. Go back to base. plane never spawned. Um, so, yeah. So, an ace. Uh, Predator, uh, Winged Legend, of course. 41,000 personal points. Um, let's head on back to the garage and check out it, how it ended. So as a defeat, 41,000, 850,000 silver uh, with a premium account, but it still would have been pretty significant without it. I'll, I'll take a look at that in a second. But even looking at this game, I don't even know how, I mean, it's hours later, still frustrating. I wouldn't be frustrated if it was my fault, right? If I, you know, if me crashing into my own friendly bomber, or me attacking the wrong planes, or me not helping um, my bombers get through, if something like that caused us to lose, okay, I can take that on the chin. It's my own fault. I'm a, I'm a man. I can handle it. I'm a man. <laughs> um, but when it's a systemic issue with the game, that's frustrating. Got the ace, got the predator. What does that mean? 24 frags, 13 assists. A total of 37 kills were my doing, right? Um, I don't think I've ever had as good of a game as this, even at the low tiers. Um, I know I've had more kills in a game, but not combined, I don't believe. Um, but yeah. And so... You know, clearly, clearly, this wasn't a one-man band, right? This wasn't uh, me carrying the game. Although, I mean, so there you go. Six what? Six hundred, six hundred thousand plus silver. Um, but you know, a lot of credit has to go to my team, right? Uh, Corvallis specifically I was in a tier seven, a, a Spitfire nine of all things, um, and did well over twenty thousand personal points in this loss. Spitfire nine is not built for this game mode. It really, truly isn't. But he was able to be a pain in the butt, I'm assuming, to the Yak-15 on the enemy team um, and the, the enemies. So, you know, this this loss, you know, I'm sure it's got to be a little annoying to, to him and to Bud and everybody on my team just in general. I'm quite sure the uh, enemy team, when they spawned back in, was like, wait a minute, we won that? Um, but, you know, it was a good game, and it's why I love the XP-58. It's why I recommend if you ever get the chance to to get it, or if you just got money to blow on it, get it. You're going to enjoy it. Um, I was not good at heavy fighters before I got this plane, but this plane taught me a lot of how to play a heavy fighter properly. Um, and on top of that, this game mode is built for XP-58, it's built for a BVP-203, it's built for those kind of fighters that um, are good at taking down bombers. <laughs> and, you know, I'm sure a 262 would do really well in this game mode as well. Um, I like this one because it gets lots of silver, obviously, even in a loss, although I've never had this high of a silver game, I don't think. But, um, yeah. I, I, the Chain Lightning is just an awesome plane. The The greatest thing about it and the worst thing about it are its guns. Um, when they hit, they're awesome. They're, they will beat down anything, anything it runs into. Um, but it needs to be able to hit them, right? Super short range. 
and so you know it's give and take when it comes to that so anywho I hope you enjoyed the game I, I did as frustrating as it was to lose in this way I still enjoyed it if, if you enjoyed it give the, the video a thumbs up if you didn't I don't know what to tell you I don't know how good I need to play for you to like the game but otherwise I hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye